Is this what Rockstar was planning all along? To release Liberty City in GTA Online close to the 10th year anniversary of GTA 4? In this video, I'll be going over why it could actually be. There are about five or so things that are pointing towards this happening. And we're actually gonna take a trip down memory lane. A couple years ago, there was this screenshot leaked. I don't remember if it was real or if it was faked, but this is sort of what started the whole Liberty City in GTA Online talk. People manipulated this image, made it so where you could make out the trees and some of the buildings at the bottom, and they were comparing it to GTA 4, and they were saying that the trees were different, so maybe this is from GTA 5's engine, but ultimately, I don't think that went anywhere. Until, I believe, a couple months later, when this screenshot was leaked from a Rockstar artist. I don't know if it was a, an employed artist at the time or if it was an ex-artist that just uploaded this by accident to his portfolio. But this is the park in GTA 4 in GTA 5's engine. And you can actually see the difference. It, it's quite a big difference in this GIF going back and forth. And of course, at the time, this got a lot of people excited. Are they remaking Liberty City in GTA 5's engine? Could we be getting it soon? And look, Fun MW2 even hopped in and said, prepare yourself to come back to Liberty City. Next week is what we'll decide if it's legit or fake. Can't wait. And that was on December 23rd, 2015. Well, maybe he wasn't right. And maybe this wasn't happening back then. But GTA Online back then is completely different to GTA Online at the present. We just got word a week ago that GTA Online has had the most people ever since the start of the game playing it. Also, it's making the most amount of money ever. So GTA Online four and a half years in is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Also, we learned from Rockstar that they plan on updating and continually updating the game throughout 2018. Now, how does this all tie into Liberty City coming in to GTA 5? Well, a couple of months ago, there was this pretty ambitious mod team that wanted to convert Liberty City from GTA 4 into GTA 5. It would have like all updated assets, I believe. And through this mod, you would be able to play in single player Liberty City. And up until this point, Rockstar really didn't seem to have any problems with these mods or with any sort of mods. But with this one in particular, Rockstar sent a cease and desist letter to the creators and told them to stop or they were gonna press charges. And ultimately, that Liberty City in GTA 5 mod was disbanded. Now at that time, people were saying, does Rockstar have plans for Liberty City in GTA 5, but ultimately that went nowhere as well. And that actually brings us to what we learned a couple of days ago. There is apparently going to be a premium edition of GTA 5 being released next month on March 28th or 23rd. I forget exactly what the date is, but you can see here, this was leaked on an Amazon website. There's going to be a premium edition coming out that costs 60 or 70 dollars so it's not even going to be discounted and when i made that video a lot of people myself included said well it's probably going to cost that much money because it's going to include some sort of shark card deal or it's going to include that new criminal mastermind starter pack but what if we are going about this the wrong way the speculation at the moment is that premium edition is going to be for the xbox one x and the ps4 pro and that it is going to include some sort of enhanced visuals, 4K resolution, HDR, maybe a better frame rate. But what if in addition to all that, it comes with Liberty City? No, yeah, I know. At the moment, this is just some wishful thinking. But all of the things relating to Liberty City over the last few years have just been odd. With the leaks, with it being worked on at least a little bit in GTA 5's engine, with Rockstar telling that mod team not to release it. And then with this premium edition coming out a month before GTA 4's 10th year anniversary. GTA 4 was released on April 29th in 2008. And according to that Amazon site, the premium edition of GTA 5 will be released on March 23rd. 
Also, this ties in with the fact that the DLC we are in at the moment only has one more car left. So the next DLC will be coming sometime soon, hopefully in March. Also, if this was happening, it does sort of confirm my suspicion as to why the free money, the tax return is so early. In real life, you do taxes and all that stuff that happens in April, but Rockstar decided to give us this free money in February, at the end of February, going into the first week of March. And I was sort of talking about this when we learned about this whole free money thing. It's like, this is kind of odd, they're doing it a little early, but it makes sense, I guess, considering this DLC is coming to an end, and sometime in March, hopefully middle of March, we get that new DLC. They want to give us maybe a little bit, uh, you know, of spending money, even though 250 grand isn't that much, and they want to give us a rebate, or they want to make us spend money by doing that rebate. They want us to do all this stuff before the next DLC. But what if it was because of Liberty City? And from what we know, since Rockstar did say they plan on continually updating GT Line throughout 2018, what if releasing Liberty City is part of that plan? Now, the way it would work in online, that's the part that no one really would know. They don't know if it would just be free and maybe the way to get to Liberty City would cost money. They don't know, you know, we don't know if it would be a map pack, let's say $30 or something. We don't know if maybe you have to purchase the premium edition of the game to get it. Either way, though, having Liberty City in G10 Line as a place we could go and and play in that would expand the life cycle of GT Line for another one or two years. And maybe that's what Rockstar's thinking. They're thinking, what if we release this map in GT Line so our player base is happy and they have something new to play with until we get GTA 6 out, which hopefully comes out in two, maybe three years. And to answer the question, why would they release a map pack or why would they release Liberty City in GT Line instead of just remastering GTA 4 like they've done with LA Noir? It's because of money. Think about this. As much or as loved as GTA 4 is, a remastered GTA 4, while it would sell fairly decently, I don't think it would sell as much as maybe Rockstar would want. But if you threw Liberty City in GTA Online, whether it was free, whether it cost money, whether it was in a completely new edition of the game, I can bet you that more people would go out and spend money to have that in GT Line instead of just having GTA 4 remastered. And Rockstar have made decisions based on money so many times in the past. So that's another reason why this makes so much more sense if it were to happen. Now for the people out there who are saying, well, what would a map expansion even add? Well, one, it would be a new city, so it, there would be new places to explore or to, you know, just drive around and stuff. And one really cool thing, which I would like to see happen if this is a legit thing, in Liberty City, guns are illegal there, so ammunition I don't believe exists. You would have to go to underground shops or have some new contacts to get guns and to get ammunition. Stuff like that is why I think a new map, especially in Liberty City, would work there would be new mechanics and new contacts and new missions and just being able to go between liberty city and gta 5's los santos that alone would keep many people happy for a long time but you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think are you optimistic are you hopeful in thinking that this premium edition could be coming or could have something to do with liberty city like I said, it, there's just a lot of stuff that, if you put them all together, makes you sort of think this could be happening. Unless all of these things are just coincidences, and that very well could be the case with Rockstar, but uh, unless that is the case, then we may be seeing this sometime next month. But thank you all for watching. I'm actually doing a shark card giveaway over on my Twitter, so if you guys want a chance to win some free money in G10 Line, then go enter that. But thank you all for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.